Welcome one and all to the Rising Legends Rapid Recap of Runeterra Reef 4's first Golden Spatula Cup. From the very first lobby, we saw how far our players were willing to go to claim the cup. With players like Spain's Snooty Boo playing so close to the edge, he was almost knocked out of the game before Wolves. We knew our players would need to have eyes in the backs of their heads in order to stay in the competition. When the dust has settled on day one, a huge amount of impressive players have been left behind, including all three of the French EMEA champions, and the field was wide open for day two. Only having our former EMEA champion Lelouch finishing top one of day one gave us any reason to feel any stability at all. Composition-wise, our first day had been all about Akshan and Azir, but the Slayers have been bubbling just beneath the surface, and in day two, they burst out to become our most dominant mainstream top one composition. Our Slovakian day two winner Tamina was ahead of that curve, getting three first place with the Slayers in day two to prove that despite being newer on the scene, he was still a major threat in day three alongside other new bloods like Yaka and Adabashin Legends Amir, who were arrayed against Rising Legends institutions such as Skapeus, Selugasang, and Ging for the final day. We were on the edges of our seats coming into day three. Oh, Peter's just gone. With two previous GSC champions in Sasa and Skapeus in play, and with the shadow of the unstoppable ravenous Warwick looming large, our players dived in all out. By the time the first three games were done, we had our frontrunners in Sasa and Snoobal, but coming into the final game, Matt Black had caught up to them, making our final lobby likely a three-horse race. Sasa knew this was his moment and used all the tools at his disposal. Mortdog listened and granted his request. Uh, his prayers uh, have yeah. been answered. He was the one asking for the augment in the chat. On the one woofy boy, Sasa tore into the funnel lobby. And as he rose into the funnel three, his closest competition fell away, leaving him as the uncatchably highest point scorer in the entire tournament. Whilst Capaeus took the glory of winning the final game, Sasa had already made history as our first ever two-time GSC champion. This, of course, has only been a single chapter in the Rising Legends story, but that's all for now. We'll see you next time for another Rising Legends recap.